What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Sorry. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Scorpio. This could resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no moon, Amy, Jupiter charts. So we get the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of my heart chakra, we're 13,175 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys so much from the bottom of my heart chakra. Uh, just saying, just saying, saying it. Okay, so I received a couple channel messages as I was preparing to do your um, bonus reading for June of 2022. So I'm going to go ahead and deliver those. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? Um, I encourage everyone to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages. So um, the channel messages I received, the first one I heard, um, a Scorpio, a married Scorpio masculine is about to find out his wife is pregnant by someone else. And um, it was about 30 seconds to 45 seconds after that, I heard, um, we'll be too far past uh, gestation for a um, abortion. Um, that was the first one. Um, that's a pretty rough one. And I'm so sorry. For whoever that is for, um, I'm sorry, because that is rough. That's rough, that's rough, that's rough. You're a married Scorpio masculine, and your wife is pregnant by somebody else. That And it's not your child, apparently. Um, I'm presuming. Now, I, I don't know. I'm not this person. I'm not you. I just heard your wife is pregnant by somebody else. Um, only you know your situation, situation and story. I encourage everyone to do paternity test if you feel that might resonate for you. That way you know. Um, but that was the first one. Um, the second one, I heard a um, huge vacation soon. A Scorpio is about to find out about a huge vacation soon. Um, pl uh, plane is what I heard. That's beautiful. So a Scorpio is about to find out about a huge vacation soon. Plane. So um, I don't know if somebody's inviting you on a huge vacation involving a plane. Or it's somebody connected to you about to get invited on a huge vacation involving a plane or something of that nature. But some kind of, one of you guys about to find out about a huge vacation involving a plane. Take me in your suitcase. Just saying, just saying. Um, and the third one, I heard um, severe mental health issues are about to become very, very, very evident soon. And someone you are very close with. Severe mental health issues are about to become very, very, very evident in someone you're very close with. So, y'all have the most channel messages out of all the signs for the bonus reading. So, you have to plug the message or messages in how they apply. It sounds like it, how they have not become evident yet, but they're about to. Um, it's somebody you're very, very, very close to, whoever you are and how this applies for you. I feel you two masculine or feminine for the last two. The first one, you're a married masculine. But, um, some kind of severe mental health issues about to become very, very evident in someone you're very, very, very close to. So, however that resonates. A Scorpio feminine position, a very, very high position, high authority, is about to make some power play moves soon to help out a very high vibrational feminine energy of her past. A Scorpio fem, very, very high position, high authority, is about to make um, some serious power play moves to um, 
help out a feminine energy of her past. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoever that's for, you're a very, very high position of authority, Scorpio Femme. And you're about to make some serious power play moves to help out a feminine energy of your past. So um, whoever this, it's a high vibrational femme energy of your past. I feel you're high vibrational too. So you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Um, you're very, very high position of authority. And you're about to help out a femme energy of your past. Kudos to you, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, kudos to you. We have otter, elk, appreciation, kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead, haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Spirit messages you have for sign of sports. Carrot, opportunity, or windfall. Spider. For some, you can be dealing, I certainly feel you're dealing with, um, uh, earth signs, because we have double earth sign energy, otter, and elk energy. If you are, they, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midham, and Jupiter charts. If you are dealing with earth signs. An illegal case study done on a family is about to become very, very, very significant in Scorpio's life. Very significant. One, you were involved in making this happen. One, you were not. And you're about to transmute the energy. You know it was extremely wrong. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So a legal case study done on a family in the past. Uh, one, you were heavily involved in this. One, you were not. Uh, the one you were not involved in it, I heard you're going to transmute the energy basically to benefit you, and it sounds like the family, because I heard you know it was extremely wrong. So, um, illegal case study done of a family in the past. No consent or authorization was given. It was done very illegally. No consent or authorization was not given, uh, was done very criminally and illegally. So it was done criminally and illegally. Uh, you're highly intuitive. I feel you're a high vibrational Scorpio if that resonates with you. I think you know this. I heard you know it was very wrong. So you know the head of household or the parent or parents did not give consent or authorization for the illegal case study to be done. Now, however the hell it was done, I don't know because I don't go around performing illegal uh, criminal case studies on people, but um, however that resonates. Um, but kudos to you, high vibrational Scorpio, masculine or feminine, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, about to transmute the energy because that is wrong. That's real wrong. That is so wrong. And I think you're going to get appreciation and maybe high honor for this is what I'm feeling because we have the appreciation card. Um, and I think they're going to reap karma for because there's one Scorpio that was heavily involved with it. So I think they benefited off of it or profited off of it in some shape, form, or fashion. I think you're going to get positive karma, high vibrational Scorpio, and the low vibrational Scorpio is going to get negative karma is what I'm feeling. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. Help. A leader. A leader, a leader. A leader, a leader, a leader. Okay, so you go with your bad self, Scorpio. One of you guys is a leader, a leader, a leader. So I'm feeling like a, a you're a true leader. And I think you are like a, a non-abuse of power kind of leader is what I feel. I feel you're a non-abuse of, non of power kind of leader. Um, so I don't feel you abuse your power. I feel you are a true. There's people that should be in leadership positions and there's people that shouldn't. 
You can acquire a position all day long, but it's how you grow and manifest the position. Do you abuse your power or do you not? And whoever you are, I don't feel you abuse your power. I feel you are a true leader, leader, leader. Like, for example, you walk the walk and you talk the talk. You put yourself out there on the line to help your people, person or people. I feel for a lot of you guys, it's a lot of people that's under you. Uh, and you, yeah, I do. I feel you're there. You're there when they need you. I feel um, you just don't sit in an office and eat bonbons and put your feet up on the chair or the table or it's all hell's breaking loose. You know, you're there to help. You're not just roaming around, hitting on people or blase, blase, blase. You see what I'm saying? Like you're a true leader, a true leader, whoever you are. That's really beautiful. Definite non-abuse of power. This Scorpio is about to step up in a huge way. They have serious regrets of a situation in the past. One very low vibrational Scorpio is about to lose their job soon. Okay, I heard not definite non-abuse of power, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, I heard you're about to step up in a huge way. You have huge regrets of the past, and one very low vibrational Scorpio is about to lose their job. So you are about to utilize your... Um, leadership skills and hone them in a very proper way there's apparently a very low vibrational scorpio underneath you in some shape form or fashion that has done something to person people place family or situation um i think you're going to help terminate them uh, they could be the one that was involved in that illegal case study or something else how that resonates but how that resonates um you're about to i mean you're, you're about to um make some power play moves here you're about to make some power play moves Whoever you are and how that resonates. That's really beautiful. That's the way a true leader should be. Um, step up when you um, when they need you. Um, stand, talk and speak out when um, you should. Um, not hide things. Not um, cover things up. Blase, blase, blase. And I don't think you're that way, ma'am or sir. I don't think you're that way at all. Um, I heard you have huge regrets over the past. And you're basically about, you're about to be the leader that you are. Um and apparently there's one very low vibrational Scorpio for at least one of you guys that's underneath you. And you know they've been involved in some deep, dark, dooku crap or what have you, what have you. And I think you're about to expose it. And use your elk antlers and your leadership there and stand tall and speak it out is what I feel. That's beautiful. A letter, or a letter of recommendation soon. A letter of recommendation soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, some kind of letter of recommendation. Um, I feel it could be you getting this letter of, rec of recommendation or somebody connected to you getting some kind of letter, letter of recommendation. However that resonates. And a thank you dinner is significant in one, one's life. And a thank you dinner is a, um, significant in one's life. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you dinner. I had to take one. Uh, well, that is beautiful. When I graduated, I'll give you an example. When I graduated nursing school back in 2013, I was so excited the night I graduated. My kids were very young. They were like four or five or something like that. But when we left the Calhoun Community College graduation arena, my foster mother didn't even take me out to dinner. She didn't even take me out to dinner. She told me I could take my own self out to dinner. So I did. I did. I took me and my kids and we went out to dinner on my own dime. And I didn't mind to do that. But I was so excited. But there, that just reminds me. I mean, just because people don't 
take you out for appreciation dinners. Whoever this is, you're about to get taken out for an appreciation dinner. Um, it sounds like you're about to be appreciated. But sometimes when people don't appreciate you, you have to appreciate yourself. I.e., when I took my own self out to dinner, the night I graduated, May something something in 2013, with my associates in um, applied science from Calhoun Community College. I mean, that's just an example. So some kind of appreciation dinner, but it sounds like in this aspect, you're going to be appreciated, and that's really beautiful. Um, you go with your bad self, um, ma'am or sir, whoever you are. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Premature labor coming soon. Not Braxton Hicks. For one, know this. It's it, the baby's coming soon. Oh my lord. Premature labor coming soon. Not Braxton Hicks. Um the baby's coming soon. Oh my lord. So one of you guys is pregnant. Um, you're a femme. You're pregnant. I mean, you're pregnant, pregnant. You are. I'm still third trimester pregnant, whoever you are. You're pregnant. Pregnant, pregnant. Oh, Lord. I heard not Braxton Hicks. It is the real freaking deal, whoever you are. It sounds like this is coming up in the universe. So soon, um, you definitely, I feel you are third trimester, and I'm serious. Uh, whoever you are, ma'am. Um, I heard it's the real deal. It's not Braxton Hicks. So I think maybe you had Braxton Hicks previously. That's what I feel. Um, possibly. Uh, or somebody's going to tell you it's Braxton Hicks or something. Um, but I heard it's not going to be Braxton Hicks. It's going to be the real damn deal. So you plug it in how it resonates. So unsettled times need to plan ahead. Is the Really, the baby is really going to come. The baby's going to come. Whether you think it's going to come or somebody else just thinks it's Braxton Hicks. Um, however that resonates and applies. Oh, Lord. A death of an Aries is about to shock the hell out of you. Shock the hell out of you. It is about to change things in a huge way. Know this. A huge way. Aries masculine. The death of an Aries masculine is about to shock the hell out of you and change things in huge ways. Um, whoever you are, Scorpio. I feel you could be a masculine or a feminine Scorpio. Um, some kind of death of an Aries energy coming up soon. Aries masculine. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you and change things in, um, in huge ways. So some kind of changing in your life, in the energy, energetic space, and in your life, um, huge changes. Uh, I think you might be very influential or very wealthy or a power play mover or something of that nature. Um, or he might be a family member or a friend or something. How that resonates, but somehow he is significant in your life, and when he passes away, it's going to change things in huge ways. So you might be part of his inheritance or uh, his will or something of that nature, uh, or just know him. He, you might work with him. He might be your boss or be under you or what have you. But some kind of death of an Aries masculine, whoever this person is, they could have Aries in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Him, and Jupiter charts. I think it's going to be very unsettling. I don't think people are going to expect this death, um, whoever this person is and how they apply. Scorpio. Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Positive karma coming for one very high, high vibrational Scorpio. Negative karma coming for one very low vibrational Scorpio. Okay, I heard positive karma coming for one high, one high vibrational Scorpio. Oh, excuse me. And negative karma coming for one low vibrational Scorpio. So you plug in in your own life how it resonates there, uh, Scorpio, if that resonates for you. Hold on, you guys, I'm sorry. I need to check my phone.
So some good karma and some bad karma coming. It really all depends on what side of the karmic wheel you're on. Have you been putting good into the universe, doing good to others, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, basically. Um, however that resonates and applies. Heart issues are about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life and an STD. Some it's not you. Heart issues and an STD is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. For some of you guys, it's not you. So uh, for some of you guys, it, it sounds like for a lot of you guys, it's somebody you're connected to. I think you're about to learn about these heart issues or learn about this STD, but I don't think it's you because um, I heard for, it's not you for some of you guys. So I think for a majority of you guys, it's not you. Some kind of heart issues and STD. I think you're about to learn of it from somebody else. Now, however you learn of it, I'm not sure because people's medical information is private. It's um, protected health information. So um, they would have to free willingly tell you about their um, health information because it's everybody's medical information is protected. Pri uh, protected health information under HIPAA under the HIPAA law. So, um, however you're, I, I guess they're going to tell you about it, free willingly tell you, but, um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's not you. Someone is getting a huge wake up call, huge. HIPAA is about to become very, very, very significant in a very significant conversation. A Scorpio, high vibrational Scorpio is about to have. Someone is having a huge wake up call and HIPAA is about to become very significant conversation in a high vibrational Scorpio's life, they're about to have with somebody. So you high vibrational Scorpio, you're about to have a very um, significant conversation about HIPAA regarding HIPAA and something um, with somebody else. But this conversation is going to be very, very, very significant between you and this other person or people. However that resonates, oh my Lord. Carrot, opportunity or windfall. A new home for one. For one, the RICO Act, it's about to become very significant in your life. RICO crimes. Okay, I heard a new act, a uh, new act, a new home for one. And for one of you guys, the RICO Act, RICO crimes is about to become significant in one of your lives. So a new home for one of you guys. So congrats, whoever that's for. Um, it could be new to you or new, new, however that resonates. And some kind of RICO Act, RICO crime energy. Um, for some, you could be CIA or you could be FBI or something of that nature dealing with RICO Acts or RICO crimes. Or you could be one that is about to get busted, like um, for a RICO Act, a RICO crime, however that resonates. However that resonates. A leak of information is about to become very, very, very useful to a Scorpio. Very useful. A leak of information. How about racial Scorpio? A leak of information is about to become very, very significant to um, a high vibrational Scorpio. So, so some kind of leak of information uh, is going to give you an opportunity or windfall to a high vibrational Scorpio, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. That opportunity or windfall in that aspect is a leak of information that's going to help you in some shape, form, or fashion. Spider? A spider bite is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. And a tattoo of a spider is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. 
okay? A spider bite and a tattoo of a spider is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. So it could be you that's um, about to get spit by a spider or somebody you're connected to. It could be you that's about to get a tattoo of a spider or somebody you're connected to, or you already have a tattoo of a spider or somebody you're connected to already has a tattoo of a spider. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. Um, tattoo of spider and spider bite energy. A very high vibrational Scorpio is about to promote a Leo feminine reader. High vibrational Scorpio reader. About to promote a Leo fem reader. High vibrational. Well, that's beautiful. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates with you. Stuff. I'm sorry. Okay. So, a high vibrational Scorpio reader, tarot card reader, I'm feeling. I heard reader. It's about to promote a uh, high vibrational Leo Finn tarot card reader. So, um, however you're about to promote her, I'm not sure. Only you know how you're going to pr promote her, not anybody else. Um, I think you have a public social media platform. I didn't hear you did, but I feel you do. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. But you're high vibrational, and the Leo Finn reader you're about to promote is high vibrational as well. Um, however that resonates, sir, ma'am. Abuse of children is about to become very, very significant in a Scorpio's life. Very significant. Abuse of children is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Very significant. Number 34 is significant. 30 and 32. Number 34, 32, and 30. And number 44 and 42 and 40. Okay, so 44, 42, 40, 34, 32, 30. So you plug it in how it resonates. 30, 32, 34, 40, 42, 44. So you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. I feel that could be an age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. But 30, 32, 34, 40, 42, 44. We have 15 on the, on the board. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Tracy, Mariah, Tracy and Mariah, Jason, James, Marie, Jason, James, and Marie, Deborah. Deborah, Milos, Milos, Marley, Marsha, Marley and Marsha. David, Andrew, David and Andrew. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's a lot of names. So it could be your name, possibly, or somebody you're connected to's name, first name, middle name, last name, or a nickname. Um, however that resonates in one's life, there were a lot of names. I'm not going to repeat them all. So um, I feel that might be some of y'all's names or somebody you're connected to's names, but only you know your specific story and situation. Not anybody else. So you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Okay. 
Well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.